Malcolm and Suyash. We now have a special address on India and Austria, Imperatives for a Digital Future by Margaret Schrambock, Minister for Digital and Economic Affairs, Republic of Austria. Madam Minister. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to join the Global Technology Summit for Austria and India talking about imperatives for a common digital future. Digitization is important for all our lives around the world and it has changed all our lives. This is true both for India and Austria. India has made impressive progress in this digital industry and is leading in certain areas. So has Austria. We are number three in Europe in digital administration. So we also have a lot of investments and a lot of progress to show here. It is important to exchange best practices, to work together and to find solutions for the new problems of this world. I'm convinced that digital transformation will help us to solve the big issues, the big challenges that mankind has, be it nutrition, be it education, health or smart factoring. It is important that we give chances to the next generation to solve these problems and therefore we need to lay the cornerstones today. We need to invest in digital transformation in three areas. First, in the area of public administration. It needs to be a digital state that is supporting their citizens. Second, it is important to invest in digital education for all people living in these countries. It is important that digital skills and digital knowledge are the basis for wealth and are the basis for good skills for working in the future. And third, it is about closing a digital gap. There are digital gaps in our societies and it's our responsibility to overcome these digital gaps. Digital transformation is key for all of us and it's key for the future of the next generations. Let's use this forum to work together, to exchange best practices, to find new solutions for these big issues that we have together. Let's work shoulder on shoulder. Let's work for the next digital generations. Thank you, Madam Minister, for that wonderful address. 